Hiya, this is the first lesson for the graphs and transformations pack. Um, I'm doing this so we can spend a bit more time on coordinate geometry, so I'm hoping you'll be able to do this before the next lesson. Right, so let's have a quick look. Um, so it says, questions should specify whether to shade the region you do want or don't want. We tend to shade the bit we don't want. So it's clear the bit that we do want. Now your calculator, you can actually do in inequalities on your calculator. And I'll show you how to in class. But it shades the wrong side. So we need to be really, really careful. Right, let's have a look. So if it's greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, we draw it with a solid line. So if there's a set of axes, it'd look like that. If it's less than or greater than, I use a dotted line. So if there's a set of axes, I've got a dotted line there. Right, now then, let's have a look. Uh, so it says shade each of the inequalities on the graph. And the graph's a bit a bit far away. So I move my graphs up there. Right. In your calculator, if you graph y equals 2x plus 6, you get a graph going like that. It crosses at 6, and it crosses at minus 3. Right, now then, because of this inequality, it's going to be a dotted line. So it's going to look like that. Crossing at 6, and crossing at minus 2. There. Right, now then, I need to think about what I want. I want well, the y values that are below the line 2x plus 6. So that's what I want. So I want the y values that are below the less than bit, the line 2x plus 6. So I want everything below this line, because that y value, if I choose a point there, 1 comma 1, the y value of that is below the y value for x is 1. So if I tried x is 1, the y value would be 8, but 1 is below 8. So that's the bit I want. So I shade the bit I don't want. But there's a lot of confusion with these questions on the exam board, because historically we always shade out the region we don't want. And there was a bit of a mixed message on some of the uh, spec papers. But to make it really clear, for the bit I want, if I put an R on the bit I want, then that's fine. But just as a reminder, your graphical calculator does it the wrong way around. And I'll show you how to do that. Right, let's have a look at this one. So first of all, let's rearrange that for y is less than or equal to minus 3x add 8. Right. So it's less than or equal to, so I know it's a solid line, minus 3x plus 8, if you graphed it, would look like that. It would cross at 8, and it would cross at 8 over 3. Is that right? Yeah, 8 over 3. Right, once again, I want the y values that are below minus 3x plus 8. So I want a y value that's below minus 3x plus 8. So there's minus 3x plus 8. The y value there is below the y value on the line. So I want the left hand side of this. So I'm going to shade the right hand side like this. Messes with your head a little bit. There. What I do as well, just to be on the safe side, is I add the inequalities. Because if I have more than one inequality, and I have to find out where they cross, without having these lines on, uh, without writing down the equation, sorry, messes with your head. Right, let's have a look at this one then. Rearrange that one again. So y is less than 2x plus 4. So 2x plus 4. Now it's less than, so it's going to be a dotted line. And it crosses through 4 on the x on the y-axis, 
a minus 2 on the x-axis if you graph it. Right, so, try that. There. So that's 4, that's minus 2. Once again, I want where the y values are below the 2x plus 4. So the y values, if I chose a point there, the y value there is below the y value there. So I want the bit under it, so I shade above it. There. Like I say, if you use your calculator, it does the wrong side. So I put on the equation here. Uh, so that is y less than 2x plus 4. Now the last one is y is greater than 0. Now this is called a non-negativity. Because it makes sure that y is positive. So this here says that I want above the line, I want the y values above. Now y is 0 is the x-axis. But if you look, it's just a greater than. So this one's a little bit tricky on the exam papers because you've got to try and make it look like your x-axis has got a dashed line on it. There. So some people just make it a little bit darker around that area. Now I want above, so I'm shading below. There. And I'm left with this region unshaded. Okay. So some questions to have a go on exercise one. Can have a go at that. Um, I've got about three minutes left. So I might do uh, another video for this one.